When you built this building, you built on the roof, I don't know what floor it is, 60th floor. 50 stories. 50. Uh, you built... The highest sukkah in the world. A sukkah. Shar HaShemayim. Can you believe that? Shar HaShemayim means the gate, gate to, to heaven. heaven. passed away, we came into a lot of his personal files and correspondence with all sorts of dignitaries. And it's scattered right now, and I think it should all be in one place for the future generations. I was always fascinated with photographs as a child, and in my house we had these thick books that we called the Red Books filled with black and white photographs from the 60s and 70s that my grandpa, Alan, took. When you see how you're part of this much larger web, that just equips you, I think, with more motivation for how to live your life. Putting a sukkah in your yard is quite visible, and certainly putting it on top of a building is very visible too. So it's a statement in terms of Jewish identity, a willingness to kind of be out there in public. I think it's important for Jews to remember that being out there in public is where we need to be. It's not time to be too worried about tending our own garden. The garden of America needs to be tended and the garden of all of our communities. And that, that's the kind of language that I think that my grandfather would speak. When I say that, it's almost like I feel him saying those words. Thank you.